All right. So what happened was we were bored and my colleague said to me, hey, why don't I send to you some really bad Instagram uh, posts with some really bad car mods and you could just react to them like on a video and that'll be a good idea. And I was bored, so I went, okay, fine. <laughs> I open these links without actually uh, looking at them as best I can, um, but I suck a few peeks here and there, it's pretty bad. So cars with really bad mods, what happens when you get a lot of money or put a lot of money into hands of people with no taste? This is what happens. Really bad car mods, I'll just get into it. Uh, first of all, <laughs> look at this, look at this guy, look at this freaking guy. I'll try not to swear, but it's going to be quite difficult. All right. This must be his mom's um, W204C180I avant-garde. Look, he painted the stupid grills. He did the wheels in yellow and orange. He did the grill. He did the side mirrors, the, the rubber, you know, the rubber thingies around the windows and everything. Wow. Oh, this is really bad. Why Why would you do this? Why would you do this to your car? And the thing is, look, SG Car Mart. <laughs> SG Car Mart. So this guy's in Singapore. Some some Singaporean kid got his mom's W204 and did all this. And go like, guys, I'm cool now. I'm cool. I'm cool. Can I roll with you guys? Can I roll with you guys? AMG Club, can I roll with you guys? <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, okay, so he did... The interior, what he could do, I don't know what this is. The steering wheel got some accents and orange. The seats though, cream. Very, very mom spec cream color, very neutral. Oh, and look, on the bottom here, he got one of those really ugly floor mats, great. Not the worst things I've seen, but you know, with limited budget, I guess he did what he could. Just imagine if this guy, with no taste, got into some money and actually bought a car and wants to stand out. Why do people do that? When they have a, when they have money, when they have money, they just want to be flashy. They don't want to appreciate the car. They don't want to actually be a car person or yeah, appreciate the car. They want to just be flashy. No flashy, no good. <sighs> okay, this is going to be hard. Kim Kardashian, ladies and gentlemen, is known for her good taste in men and everything else. And what she did to this Lamborghini is beyond, beyond forgiveness. It's uh, it's a Lamborghini Urus, a car of which, you know, you could love or hate. Should it should it exist? Should Lamborghini build an SUV? No, but it's not the worst thing they could do. But this is the worst thing you could do to it. It's what? Kimmy had a little Lambo. Oh, oh the stupid joke, cringe. Oh my god, this is the cutest and funniest thing ever. No, it's not. It's not. It's a stupid thing that you've done and ruined the car. Skims. Oh, I guess this is the brand. Like, she's promoting the brand that, that did this to the Lambo. So it's like, lamb's wool? What do you do when it rains? What what happens? Uh, oh, she's got like the, the matching sweatpants and slippers and top. Oh. You know that movie, uh, Dumb and Dumber? Right? They had the, the movie, uh, what, the, what the car, the, 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 what is it called the car? That, that thing that they rolled around in. The Muttmobile? You know, when, in the beginning of the movie, when, 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 um, when Harry was working at that dog thing and then he had the car with the tongue out and the fur. This is it. This is it, but in Lumber form. In fact, I would rather have that car than this. Just, this is what happens when, when celebrities have too much free time and way too much money and attention like this happens it's not good Lamborghini owners people who have no taste tend to gravitate towards Lamborghinis when they get some money and they want to be flashy and all fly they get Lamborghinis that might be why if I ever come into some money enough to buy a Lambo I wouldn't do it look at this thing just to be just to be associated with this group is it's it's not worth it just get something else get a porsche get a ferrari get a pagani get a get a noble get 
a Lotus. Get a whatever. Get a Honda Civic. Is this, this is not even owned by Ariana Grande. It's owned by someone else, like a big fan. This is a real rap. Thank you. Next. Worst spec. It's always a Lamborghini. And it's always... Before this, it was a Gallardo. Gallardo, Gallardo, Gallardo. And then now it's a Huracan. So everyone who has some money can't really afford a Ventador. They get, they get the Huracan. Maybe even used. And they just do whatever they want to. They just like put the worst things to get, to get some attention. This world is just so messed up. Everyone just wants atten attention. And thank you next is at the back of it. More like thank you next. I don't want this car to be near me again. Okay, building up anticipation. Next car. <laughs> oh, I can't even laugh. This BMW Z4 Dragon. Oh wow. This should be. This is more like, like what? What is that? What is that Norse mythology horse that uh, Pegasus? Is that Norse or is it Greek? I don't know. But yeah, Pegasus. You know that horse with the wings. This is like it. So it should be. This should be, and it's gold underneath it. So it's it's, it's a gold painted Z4, and they put like wings and little plastic molded feathers on it and, a, and they put like Lambo doors <laughs> that's the worst don't put Lambo doors on anything okay unless you buy a Lambo and not all Lamborghinis have them so don't put Lambo doors it doesn't look good on anything okay just don't do it you suck if you do it what is this like 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 feelers like ants and bugs have at the, at the front it's just so they've done nothing to it mechanically, they just overlaid this stupid stuff on it. It looks like it's in a casino. Dragon, I'm, I'm like what? It's in Macau, uh, shown at the China Import and Export Fair. Yeah, you can keep it. This should be like, you know what, make a tour. Oh no, it's a dragon, so it's not a bird at all. It's a dragon, so it's like a dragon tail down here. Great, great, great. I didn't even see, I didn't even make the connection between the dragon and this car. Unless I was bird. These are like, what, scales? That doesn't make sense. Does dragon have feathers? I don't think so. Oh, nostrils. Imagine the BMW grill, I guess. Uh, this is awful, man. Like, maybe just, just tour Malaysia and come to, like, the Palace of the Golden Horses. Just have it in front. Just to scare everyone away. Don't stay here during COVID. It's not good for you. This is making me sad. This process. It's not even funny anymore because it's so sad. This is a Maserati Quattroporte, and it's one of the finest four-door saloons ever made. Engine note, brilliant. Gearbox, not so brilliant. But they they put huge wheels, and they call it this the gonk thing. It's a, it's called this movement, this whole trend or whatever it is of putting huge wheels on, on stuff. It's called gonking. Oh, sorry, donk, donk, donking. What's the point of donking? On any on anything like, do you not? Do you just want ride height? Want to just get an SUV? You. <laughs> oh look, they left the interior. Oh, that's cute. They left the interior all nice and stock with the white accent. Look, look how nice the interior is. Kind of oily, like the previous owner had all his body oils just stuck on it and didn't even bother um, to remove it, and they just stuck huge wheels and put on a. I just repainted everything orange on the outside anyway. Uh, it's also for sale through Northern Kentucky Auto Sales. No thanks. Next car. I'm just trying to keep myself motivated to go through here because... <sighs> the thing is, you see a lot of these SLRs. Like, like rip-off SLRs. But they're all like... Um, fake like they, they were made with some some other car and they put like an slr ish body on top made of fiberglass and just paste but this is the real slr which is really really sad because it looks swiss designer uili and liquor uili liquor selling his personal labor of love why would you do this to your car so this is his own car i guess he's a successful designer of what like, people pay him to do this? Or do other things? Ah! <laughs> I 
I have no words. I have no words. Slightly modified <laughs> McLaren SLR 999. <laughs> what? McSpace Laren Red Gold Dream. Freaking McDonald's special here. You got the gold, the yellow, you got the red, and the stupid wing. Looks like a looks like it belongs in the McDonald's arch. Oh. You got your female companion next to you. Or is this the actual Swiss designer, Ueli Anlicker? Is it a her or a he? I have no idea what Swiss names sound like. Just just the worst. Okay, bye. Bye. Anyway, this is why Ferrari, this is why Ferrari, when Ferrari sees this, they go like, okay, our next cup, we have to be even more stringent of, uh, we, we, we can't just sell. Our Ferraris at this level all come with invitations. You don't get to buy this car unless you are pal pal with Ferrari, friendly, friendly, chummy, chummy, macha, macha with Ferrari. And they ask you, hey, would you like to give us how many million for a Ferrari La Ferrari? And you go, okay. And then this happens. And they go, hey, we should really, really vet even more strictly who we sell our Ferraris to at this level. You got the green, you got the purple, you got the red, you got the orange, you got the pink. In fact, the the, the red in front, I'm not even sure if it's stock. It looks like one of those reds like on a taxi. One of those taxis that have been repainted and just left in the sun for too long and it just melts and just fades. That's the red pink thing. People, if you have money, use it wisely. People judge you based on your car. Being flashy isn't the same as being... I'm not, I'm not jealous of you if you're flashy AF, but driving a car that looks like you have no taste. It just doesn't work for anybody. You're, you're making yourself look stupid. Next car. All right, this one actually isn't that bad. I'm not looking at the interior yet. I'm looking at the top half. So a KN, you know, with the, I don't know, this aftermarket front end to it. First gen KN, and then you have uh, the red exterior, clearly a uh, either a vinyl wrap or just an aftermarket paint job. I can even see like the paint here doesn't really match the paint of the bumper. So it's like a bumper job. Maybe this is stock paint with like aftermarket finishes on this bumper. This is red wheels. Red and black to match, and then you go inside. And then you go inside and look. Oh, I, I like I like Louis Vuitton because Louis Vuitton is fashion. It's it's fashion. It's fashion. What is the what is the obsession with this brand? All they do is stick one logo again and 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 again. We make fun of cars with too many badges. Oh look, gonna be M, 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 M. Type R, 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 R. A, M, G, 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 G. Just bombarding you and just in your face too much with the fact that, oh look, it's a, it's an M, it's a Type R, it's an AMG, it's a whatever, it's an Audi RS. But Louis Vuitton? And you you make it look like it's, a, like it's diapers. It's like diaper pattern. You know, like, the coloring and everything is so colorful. This is like fashion diapers overlaid on a dashboard and steering wheel and seats and door paneling. Okay on the outside, really bad on the inside. All right, I know this car. This is Bieber's car. Again, what happens when you have, you have a lot of money and just no taste? What is he going for? It looks really, I mean, execution-wise, he didn't do it himself, obviously. This was done by West Coast Customs. If you have no taste and you have too much money, West Coast Customs is for you. West Coast Customs wants to build the car for people with no taste in California, in the West Coast. So this is a Rolls Royce Wraith, right? Coupe, but with the wheels all covered up. So they have to like extend uh, the fenders, the entire width of the car and give it a new front end. Just basically like a, like a, like, like a skirt, like a, like a kilt around the, the wheels and everything, the outer perimeter, just to make this work. And I, I don't know, I guess you can't, they have to make it so that even if you turn the, the wheels full lock, this skirt is wide enough that the wheels don't make contact. 
but it looks awful because you can see the wheels from certain angles. You can see the wheels down there, so it doesn't look futuristic. It just looks like. Shit. No. This is why Rolls Royce insists on keeping close tabs on every owner, so that I mean they can't prevent people from buying their car and doing shit like this, but but at least they they have some control. They have some way to like, hey. You know, we know you have the urge. We don't have bad taste. We don't have the urge to do something stupid. But let us educate you. Let us enlighten you in some good taste and prevent you from looking damn stupid. Let's just show you examples and different materials. I, I can customize your car before we give it to you. And so we can exercise some restraint. Instead, you have people like him giving it to West Coast Customs. I can't laugh. I, I can laugh a little bit, but I'm, I'm trying to laugh. But honestly, this makes me sad because all these nice cars are being wasted on the rich. You know how they say youth is wasted on the young? Well, money is wasted on the rich. When they buy these kind of cars, capitalism doesn't really make a lot of sense. I have no more words. Okay guys, this has been Jim here reacting to sad examples of cars that make the world sad and make me sad. And anyway, I'm no longer bored, but I am traumatized. Um, have a good day or whatever at home and stay safe and whatever else. Bye.